Okay, this is James P. Madonna from the Facebook group Everything is Food. Um, to the right are green beans, and to the left, with also in dollar store five gallon buckets with dollar store tomato cages and dollar store potting soil, happens to be the Super Jumbo Giant New Jersey Beefsteak Tomato Plants. Now, what do these plants have in common? Let me see. Well, they are both from seeds that I purchased from a dollar store. They are dollar store seeds. I didn't buy any plants. I just took a couple packets of uh, dollar store seeds and planted them in this high quality potting soil and used this special fertilizer from Walmart, this special soluble fertilizer, which, which is an all purpose fertilizer. And lo and behold, there's the green beans. And even more shocking, there are the Jersey beefsteak tomato plants. I'm surprised they even sprouted, to be honest with you. You know, normally a lot of people in this area. Yeah, normally many old timers from New Jersey they uh, when they sprout their own tomato plants and pepper plants they do it in this uh, little um, homemade greenhouse with the pan a glass panel on top and the little cups and they you know they go through a whole uh, tedious process of sprouting them into plants and they they usually do it early in the spring or they just go out and buy baby tomato plants or pepper plants or whatever eggplants but in this case I just buried two packets of dollar store New Jersey beefsteak tomato seeds and there they've grown they're growing all right so I don't know if it's I don't know what it is the right amount not too much Sun uh, the, the excessive rain we're having uh, is it the all-purpose Walmart soluble fertilizer together with the high quality potting soil who knows but all I know is it's all the dollar store seeds are sprouting including the um, yellow squash um, which I'm going to show you next Okay, and here are the dollar store yellow squash seeds Look how big the yellow squash plants are in that my clay pot. How about that? Interesting and these are dollar store um, sage Perennial herb sage, very important, very medicinal, with a with a, a a tremendous ancient history behind it. Look, this is my third season of having sage. Comes up by itself every year from the dollar store, in dollar store potting soil and a dollar store bucket. Here's lemon balm mint from the dollar store. Grown the same way. Look. Beautiful, beautiful lemon balm mint. There's the bird, which is the word. All right. Unbelievable. Over here, I got my my dollar store ornaments. There's the Jersey Mothra. There's the steam crab. All right. There's the lobster, Mr. Lobster Roll. I name him Jeff. Hi Jeff. Look, he's alive. Nothing like freshly, fresh live lobster. Lobster roll. There he is. There you go. And then uh, these are the garlic chives. Also from Dollar Store Seed. New jabronis. 
garlic chives, delicious. I cut them with uh, kitchen shears, kitchen scissors, for you common folk that don't know what the hell shears means. All right, beautiful. They have a nice garlic, garlicky flavor when you snip them in your recipes. Uh, hey, I even have echinacea growing from the dollar store seeds. How about that? All right, so anyway. My pride and joys are most likely lemon balm, mint, sage, yellow squash, and uh, I also, from the dollar store, I got a box of uh, wildflowers. They're starting to come up for attracting um, butterflies and hummingbirds. They're starting to come up. So that's about it. <laughs>